Glasses, but it's here. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Cornelius, the centurion. Cornelius, captain of 100 Roman soldiers, was stationed in Caesarea. Caesarea. It was not a desirable assignment. Hated by the Jews, he found it difficult to maintain his authority over his men. He seemed to take great pleasure in the fact that they were, off, they were an occupying army. They mocked the other people, mistreating them. And, and, uh, not under the watchful eye of a commanding officer, often going much further than was needed to maintain control. Cornelius of Jesus, a man who claimed to be the Son of God, from his own observation, he had found Jesus to be a gentleman. He was different from the religious, religious leaders that Cornelius had met before, although he didn't take the man seriously. Claiming to be God seemed to be going a little too far. But he wasn't impressed with the students, the seducers, or the Pharisees, and how they kept the common folk in check with their overbearing attitude and the threat. It was only during Passover week that he discovered those leaders were seriously considering having the Galilean killed, the influence as they were by the high priest. Jesus had managed to slip away to the crowd many times, but the tenth atmosphere provided little chance, uh, further chance to them. It took very little stirring to get violence started among the people in Jerusalem for the Passover. Some of these people had witnessed the miracle, but many had only recently arrived and knew little bit about, about the man who claimed to be the Son of God. <laughs> when God ordered the prisoner flogged, the soldiers took great pleasure in making painful stripes appear on his back, kicking and spitting with him. Cornelius was impressed with the man's courage. As he witnessed the man's pain, Find it difficult to remain in his presence. Crucifixion was never pleasant for him to witness. He had heard the cries of the agony many times before. It took no pleasure. But this time it was different. This Jesus refused the wine that would help him relieve some of his pain. He spoke with him, but when he did, it seemed to comfort those around him and friends gathered at the foot of the cross. Cornelius couldn't understand the pleasure his men had in casting off his foot, taunting him in the worst hour of his life. He watched Jesus die, a great sadness crept over his own blood. Because he was required to make sure the prisoner had died before sundown, Cornelius was glad when he succumbed early. He flinched when the was cut into the man's side, and water and blood gushed forth. Seeing this, Cornelius softly said, Truly, this man is God's son. Cornelius was a man of honor. His realization of who Jesus was had come very late. But eventually, he came to be the follower through the witness of Peter, and he brought many of his family and friends to be among the first followers in Christ. You know what about me, Lord? Am I sharing my witness? Am I guilty? 